Uh, two News sports anchor David James is joining us this noon hour, along with longtime rival and longtime good friend Ron McBride, as we remember Edwards' legacy. Dave? And I think that's the, uh, the thing to remember there about Lavelle Edwards' legacy. Of course, the Cougars love the guy who really built the program, but... How did he form a friendship with the Utah coach? Because you were at Utah as an assistant coach, and you know there was a lot of bad blood there. What was it about Lavelle and his personality that you guys could connect? First time I met Lavelle was, I think, at a weightlifting meet at uh, Jordan High School, if I remember right, which was many, many years ago. And so I'd heard a lot about him, and, and I met him, and I said, hey, this guy is really a, really a good guy, you know, because we just had a regular kind of regular conversation. And so we had we developed a, a friendship from day one. Uh, and obviously, through the years, you know, the unique thing about Lavelle, Lavelle was, I mean, I get so many fond memories of that guy. And, and it's just, you know, from just this, these radio shows we had, were hilarious, you know. <laughs> I would, true. I would walk away from the radio shows, and I would say, "Oh, this is so much fun," yeah. and I know this year he, he didn't, he wasn't doing real well, but he he loved those radio shows. He loved to do them. Uh, you formed a friendship, and then you both got high-profile programs, and you competed for conference titles. That didn't ruin the friendship, and I think we can find other examples in college football where that would have happened. How no, of- I tell you what. First of all. If they, if they lost to us, he was always really good. You know, I remember the first time we beat him down there and they had the big blanket ceremony and everything afterwards and the whole stadium went quiet, you know, and all that. But all I remember him is he come up, shake my hand. He said, you ruined my day, but <laughs> congratulations. <laughs> <laughs> but, but he just, you know, we did a, a lot of things together. You know, he never... He never turned down a charity event ever. And whether it was in Salt Lake or wherever, he, he, he would always be there and he'd always be great. And and he's he just was he was a lot bigger than a football coach. He was a great representative of, of Brigham Young University. He was a great representative of the LDS religion. He was a great representative of college football. And he, he put Brigham Young on the map, basically. People would, when you think about BYU, you think Lavelle Edwards. That's who you think about. And he was such a um, a positive representative for that university. And uh, so he's far beyond a football coach. I know you two had a strong bond, and you dropped everything to come down here just to remember him for a few minutes with a lot of his fans. We appreciate it. Well, I'll tell you what. Everybody that knew him, knew about him. Uh, this is a very sad day. Feel, because, feeling the loss right now. Yeah, yeah. he's, he's, uh, ir- he's irreplaceable. Ron McBride, former Ute coach and a good friend. Now, Lavelle Edwards has coached hundreds of football players at BYU over a 29-season career as head coach, plus more years as assistant. But it wasn't just his coaching legacy that's being remembered today. Former BYU player Hans Olsen says he remembers meeting Lavelle Edwards for the first time back in 1995 when he was being recruited to play for BYU. And I remember that first handshake and that initial conversation, how candid he was, um, how open, uh, how spiritual, how loving, how forward he was. It it was crazy how all the other universities took a back step. And two weeks before I was gonna sign with Nebraska, I, I made the decision to go play for Lavelle. And Lavelle was probably 75, 80% of the reason that I chose BYU in that initial meeting. That's why his assistant coach is called Lavelle the Closer. Olsen now hosts a radio show on 97.5 and 1280 The Zone, says Lavelle Edwards love for more than football and made BYU football. Says the famous coach left behind a legacy much more than that, a humanitarian who loved people. I think of him as a father figure. I think of him as a mentor. I think of him as one of my heroes. I think of him as one of my most dear and everlasting friends. And all of that goes back to his openness, his willingness to forgive, and his willingness to continue to give us opportunities. 
At the end of the BYU football season, Lavelle Edwards was still working. Olsen says Lavelle joined him on a talk show, sharing his opinion on the football season. Uh, more about those memories coming up later on 2 News. Back to you, Ron, Mary. A lot of reaction coming in today. Thanks yeah. a lot, Dave. And we all have uh, special memories yep. Yep. of that legend. Yep.